Hello everyone. Now in this set of videos, we will discuss primarily about what to do when we are uh, a victim of this. We have seen that most of the time the cyber crimes happen when we are not aware of it. We have created a lot of awareness for you. We are now getting aware of what type of cyber crimes are there, the psychology of criminal. Now let us discuss in this set of videos about what should we do when cyber crime happens against us. Let us take one by one by one and generally they are in the set of categories what we can take an action upon. Okay, number one, if there is debit card cloning or some money has been debited from our account, you got an SMS, you see that money has been debited. You see a message that let's say 50,000 rupees, 5 lakh rupees has been debited from your account. Now what should you do at that point of time? Number one, verify once again that actually the money has been debited because there are things, it has happened to me as well, I have got messages the money has been debited. Not only messages, mail have come across that this much amount of money has been debited from a credit card. There are some people who do that because your last four digits may be available of a credit card, your phone number may be available with many persons, they will send messages from in the name of your bank account with something, something. Make sure that it's actually happening to you. How do you make sure that? Maybe you can confirm through a secure way through your online banking. You can also make sure in other ways contacting the bank directly that something has happened. Once you get to know that really some cyber crime has happened against you in terms of money has been debited from your account, what should you do? Number one, contact the bank immediately. It should be within less than 10 minutes of time, 10 to 15 minutes of time. Banks are very proactive in that particular case, specifically in India. There are, there are, they have a lot of, lot of agility in taking care of these cases, <laughs> primarily because there are a lot of cases as well. So when you contact a bank, contact the customer support immediately, contact someone. Generally in banks, you are provided some relationship manager, you also provided some near and dear person whom you can immediately contact them. So that's, that's a must for you to contact within, if not 10 minutes, as soon as possible perhaps not more than 24 hours. So you contact that person in the bank, they will generally block your account and they will try to chase the person and uh, so and so and so get the amount uh, back to your account as soon as possible. Secondly, there are government helpline numbers, cybercrime.gov.in, there is an online helpline number, the number gets changed uh, quite often, but inform online as well through government portals, through government helpline, to comment uh, website. This is very, very important for us to understand that uh, yes, you get cyber crimed. <laughs> uh, you are not wanting to tell others. It, I have been so foolish that I shared my OTP. I have been so foolish that I used my uh, debit card at an open place. I gave it to someone or you may not be accepting or willing to accept your mistake. But that's fine. We are all human beings. As human beings, it's it's a character six to make mistake. But as a human, sane human being or a clever human being, we should understand that a mistake has happened. What can we do so that uh, we can overcome that and not repeat that mistake once again? So admit that mistake and call for help. Calling for help is not uh, a coward thing. Calling for help is not a bad thing. You must call for help and call for help from the bank, call for help from the online sources, uh, cybercrime.gov.in and the helpline. Number three, call for help from the local police officials. Go there, make sure that your case is registered, make sure that your case is registered in the local police officials as well. So and so was the date. Generally, there is a place in every state uh, for which they have a, have a notification where your, your cyber crime can be noted specifically. And if it involves money, the local police will also get it noticed. So these are three things. At least these three things you must do immediately whenever you will feel that your money has been debited. Of course, after confirming that you have been cyber crime. Inform your bank. Number two, report online. And number three, report physically to the police. This is important so that you are protecting yourself from further cyber crime. You are not sitting hand on hand and not doing anything because if you have been done once, you can be done again and again and again and again. So as a sane person, make sure that you stop from being further cybercrime. You stop yourself from being further victim. It's okay that you have become a victim. It's fine that it because of your mistake. It's okay that you were aware, still you got attacked. But as a sane person, understand that there are thousands and thousands and thousands of people who also get the same 
and there is a proper procedure for you to stop yourself from further cyber crimes. Thank you very much.